Witcher Adams here with Anthony at Impact Fitness in Sudbury, Massachusetts. Thanks so much for having us. No problem. He's going to show us a few techniques based on focusing towards hockey player fitness. Yep. What are we going to do today? All right. So again, we have hockey specific training and really the, the big thing for us is making sure that we keep our core, our lower body and really everything kind of bulletproof. That's what we're really going to be focusing on. So we actually have a slide board here that's really going to be mimicking really ice play. So really um, when clients and hockey players come to us and they want to train, um, it's really great that we can kind of put them into a dry land program. And, and to do that, we're going to use this slide board that really mimics being on ice. So I'm going to have you put on those booties. Okay. Now, does this benefit if you're not a hockey player and you're just kind of looking for your fitness, how does this benefit the regular Joe Yes. Yeah, so what's kind of amazing about it is hockey players specifically have an amazing regimen and so their bodies need to be perfectly conditioned they need to have strong inner thighs they have to have strong legs and most women want to make sure that they have strong thighs well strong legs tone legs um, really work in their inner and outer thighs and that's one of the target areas that most women have so when you're thinking about striding out for hockey that's an excellent way to really kind of again build strength right. tone the body up and that's really where we use this with all of our adult you know clients and, and most Mostly women. So, if you want, we can slide right on. You can all definitely. Right. Uh, now, if you're hopping out. on the board, you get on the side, right? Yes, you want to get onto one of the two sides. Okay. All right. And don't fall. And <laughs> don't fall. We don't want to fall. So again, adult supervision. <laughs> yeah, adult supervision required for sure. I want you to pull from side to side. Ready? Right. Go for it. And now, definitely have a little squat. Yep, have a little squat. Get the muscles engaged and just extend that leg through. It's kind of like a little dance move if you want, right? So just Focus glide. on not falling exactly. on your face. Focus on not falling and just push and just glide your body side to side. That's what's amazing about this is we're mimicking what the guys would do on the ice, okay. what the girls would do on the ice if they were gliding and sliding, really working on their stride length. One major thing is you want to keep your body underneath your hips, okay. keeping that balance and stay strong. Working the inner thighs, working that stretch and strength. And feel it in your core as well. Feel it in your <laughs> core, you got to, because I don't want you falling, right? So again, guys are on like, what, a quarter inch blade on, this, on right. their skates, and that's really impressive. I don't think a lot of people understand how difficult it is to stay balanced and stay square on those skates. This, you feel isn't, a little bit? this is a little hard too. Yeah, right? So immediately now, what I want you to do is drop down into a push-up position here right. on that board. So utilizing the same piece, I now want you to actually do a mountain climber. So here we're engaging that core, yep, okay. knee to chest, and go, 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 drive, drive, drive. Here Winter is actually staying strong with her shoulders, engaging that core, really working a full range of motion of her legs. So here we're working that high intensity, kind of getting that heart rate up, while still lengthening out the legs, working the lower body, and really critical for any kind of hockey player or anybody who wants to train like one. How's that feel? Good. Yeah? Awesome. Excellent. So you can take those booties off. I can actually hop you off. And what you'd want to do during that is maybe have about 10 to 20 side to side movements okay. and then drop right down and do mountain climbers for probably about the same 10 to 20 and do maybe like three to four sets. Okay. So this piece is actually a very unique piece to have and you know again it is a luxury to have a slide board. What's amazing about it is you can go down to say a Home Depot or in Canada, what is it? Canadian the, Tire. Yeah, Canadian Tire, there you go. And go pick up what's considered furniture movers, right? These small foam discs with plastic on them. Okay. Right? And if you find awesome. yourself, yes, it's beautiful, right? You can go down, you can buy like a four pack for maybe about $8 uh, US dollars, and you now have a sideboard. And so I want you to kind of demo some of the things that we were kind of working on with working on the stride and working on really lateral movements. So if you take one of them, right, place it down onto the ground, and you do need somewhat of a smooth surface on a carpet, um, on a rug, uh, it really works well. Um, you know, you could do it on a hardwood floor, but you don't want to scratch it up. Right. But here, if you put one foot on, all right, we can actually stay balanced and stay over one leg. And I want you to go out, come back in, and again, nice and smooth similar to that slide board, right? Where again, we slide down, really working on the inner thighs and just pull right back. Strengthen that single leg. And you said you want to stay straight, not to the side, right? Yep, yep, you want to stay straight up and down on that one leg. Okay. You want to go about 10 to 12 reps on each leg, okay? And just like the slide board, we can immediately go into another exercise. So the next exercise we're going to do, after you do about 10 to 12 on each leg, is go right into a reverse lunge. So here, we just pull that leg back and forward. Again, you feel that? Yep. All right, awesome. Definitely in the legs. Yes. So you're stretching out your hip flexor here, working on the strength in that front leg, and you're just pulling right and through. Oh, but don't worry. Here you go. 
Oh, we're gonna put. I wasn't feet. worried. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried, but. <laughs> so here we go. There's more. All right. Okay. So what I want you to do is actually put both feet onto the disc. Tips, full feet. Hot water. Yep. Just, like, so fall. now go into a push-up position with your toes right on that disc. So we're gonna do this one again. So now we're gonna do it again. <laughs> this one at home for much cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. So now what I want you to do is get those toes right on that disc, and I want you to bring one knee forward and do mountain climbers. Ready? Go for it. So here, Winner's doing the same thing, where she's stabilizing through her shoulders, she's engaging her core, she's lengthening out those legs. They're getting tired? A little. <laughs> yeah. And for really about eight to $10, you now created a slide board that there are probably thousands of exercises that you could do to really work your core, your legs, all for a cheap, fraction of the price. I was going to say a cheap workout. Yeah, and, but they're awesome. And again, Correct. that's critical for hockey players is really getting core stability, strength in the lower body, strength in the hips, because again, that's where most injuries happen in hockey are in the hips, the hip flexors, adductors, abductors. And if we can make a, a, a hockey player, even any client that wants to train like a hockey player, or even just have some of those exercises to mimic that, the biggest thing is to make a bulletproof lower body. Right. Strong, tone. Um, and really just everything that need, needs to happen for, for any kind of client. Perfect. All right, All right. well, I already feel it in my legs.